So here are some of the things that I do to make the most out of my space, my budget, and my time while traveling. So the first tip I have for you is to buy your tickets whenever possible in advance, whether it's for events or for transportation. This will help save you money, reduce or even eliminate your weight in line. And also, if you're concerned about language barriers, this will help alleviate some of that stress. Okay, so this is what I call the shirt hair towel. And I actually use this uh, method at home. Um, this tip is for anyone, but particularly for those who have long, uh, thick hair. And essentially after washing your hair, uh, you place your hair in a uh, shirt, an old shirt uh, that you're not using, uh, and then you wrap it up to, to dry. And I find that this method works better than a towel uh, because it limits the damage to your hair and also it does a better job of absorbing um, the water in your hair. So I like to bring a really thin uh, shirt um, that you see on my head, but you can also bring um, a thicker shirt uh, depending on um, how much you want to carry. <laughs> Okay, so here is the quintessential day pack. And I alternate between a day pack and my Chico bag, which I'll talk about later, depending on what country I'm in and what I happen to be doing in the country. This here is a Rick Steves day pack. And the key for me is that it has to be foldable and it has to be extremely lightweight. If it's not, it doesn't make the cut. So I like to be really organized, so I tend to use packing cubes, and in my packing, one of my packing cubes, I put a lot of my uh, electronic equipment. But this is about the cube day pack combo, uh, and this is really important because, one, you can use your day pack or your day bag as your packing cube. If not, you, in order to save space in your backpack, you can stuff your packing cube inside of your, your day bag. And this is good for security reasons if you have to pull stuff out of your um, bag and also for some reason if you have to be separated from your larger bag um, you can put your essential items in your day bag and keep them with you while in transit okay everyone i absolutely love my flash drive everything important goes on this flash drive my passport my tickets uh, and I also email all of these essential items to myself just in case I need them in an emergency Okay, so this is a four port USB travel plug for most of your devices, your iPad, your iPod, your cell phone, anything you need a USB plug for, you can use this device. Make sure you test it out, get a good one, check the reviews. Um, you see me putting it in my handy dandy Ziploc bag, another travel hack, no need to buy any expensive equipment bags. Okay, so this is a two for one. This is a scarf, so I bring this with me uh, in case I get chilly. Uh, and I also use the scarf as a head wrap. Uh, and this uh, serves two purposes. Uh, again, if I'm chilly and I want something to cover my head, I just slap my scarf, <laughs> wrap my scarf around my head. Uh, and also it serves a fashion uh, purpose. It sort of makes my... Um, outfit pop a little with the bright color so two for one scarf head wrap combo okay so my friends are always teasing me about my um, mostly black wardrobe and yes I do have a lot of black clothes uh, and even if I didn't I probably would primarily bring a lot of black or dark colors when I'm traveling because I only have two to three outfits and I want to make sure that they stay um, looking clean uh, they will be clean, but I want them to look clean as well. Uh, and this is a way that uh, I kind of make my outfits pop is I bring um, scarves that I can use as head wraps and um, I make sure that they're colorful so that I'm not always wearing all black. So if you saw my review of the Scotty Vest, you know that I absolutely love Scotty Vest clothing uh, for two reasons. One, for security. Uh, there are multiple uh, pockets in uh, these Scotty vests, and I like that many of them are inside of the vest. Uh, so you can stash your valuables, your money, your electronic equipment, um, 
just goes right inside the vest and you feel really secure that it's on you. The other reason why I like it is uh, very similar in that there's just a lot of places to stash your stuff. Uh, and this is good, particularly if you're going through uh, airport security or if there are issues with um, the weight of your luggage and you need to reduce the weight, you can just kind of put a few items in your Scotty vest or your Scotty coat and you are good to go. There are my Chico bags. Okay, so I don't travel anywhere at this point unless I have my Chico bags. They come in very cool colors and they are really, 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 really small. And if you are a one bag traveler like me, you want things that are compact. Uh, so this is how big they are when you open it. And you can just stuff so much stuff in here. I mean, I, I use these as shopping bags, but you can also just use them to carry your stuff so that you're not looking so much like a tourist. And here's how you stuff the bag inside of itself. And generally, I clip this onto uh, my backpack, uh, my purse, or I just stuff it in my pocket. Okay, here you have my day notebook. So rather than bringing a lonely planet with me or a bunch of travel guides, I basically do my research the night before and I write down everything that I want to do, how to get there, important information, and I just put it in my little handy dandy notebook. I started off with a bigger notebook and then um, I reduced the size and now I'm on to the mini and I like them because they're really small. Lightweight, put it in my pocket on my purse.